DPC and DTC software configuration. To acquire the artwork software, go to opwglobal.com, click the Tech Support tab on the top, and click OPW Fuel Management Systems. On the left, click Software. Find the Artware Setup Program and download it. Run the installer. Use the default selections and install the program. Now to run Artware, go to your Start menu, click OPW Fuel Management Systems, then click Artware, right-click the FSC Configuration Utility, and click Run as Administrator. You want to do this every time you start the program. To set up the DPC in Artware, from the Site tab, click Direct Pump Control on the bottom right. Make sure Enable is checked. Select your pump type and configure your settings for that pump type. Now you want to add your pump controller. In our case, we need to add a DPC. If you forget to set up the DPC from the step earlier, the program will show UPC instead of DPC. If it says UPC, you must go back to the Site tab and click the Direct Pump Control button and enable DPC. Now remember, when you add different pump controllers, whichever pump controller you have highlighted is what will show up when you go to the Pumps tab. So select the pump controller whose pumps you wish to change, then click the Pumps tab to edit those pumps. Notice that selecting DPC and clicking Pumps shows 8 hoses. Click Add, then change your hoses to the corresponding product and make sure you click Install. If you do not click Add first, your setting changes will not save. Pull ID refers to pumps that may be set up with a distribution box. Change the pull ID to match the sequence that you are pulling. Pump Sentry is a safety protocol that shuts the pump down if it receives no pulses. This will utilize the timeouts listed below. The system waits for a handle sense, missing pulse, first pulse, and total fueling time. Adjust these accordingly. The terminal is where you add your type of card readers. Click Add. Depending on the type of card reader you choose, different options will become available. In this example, we choose COPT, but if using DTC, choose DTC. Decline timeout is typically 15 seconds. Pump timeout is also typically 15 seconds. The type of display is shown here. This should be grayed out. Ensure that Installed is checked. Keyboard Access gives you the ability to enter a card number by hand. PIN numbers are not considered part of Keyboard Access. Issue Receipts must be selected to print receipts. If you select Unlimited, any time a user wants to get a receipt for their last transaction, they can do that. If you select No and choose Days to Receive Receipts, it is limited by the number of days you enter here. Limit Pump Access allows you to limit the card reader's access to only one pump. In the case of DTC, it might be a good idea to allow both card readers on a two-position dispenser to allow access to both fueling positions on that dispenser. This is in case of one of the card readers is not functioning. Once you've saved the configuration, it gives you the ability to change your prompts and receipt messages.